Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Demos Diecast. We are here today with we finally locked down the Boulevard set that you can tell by the title and also by the cars that we have on display back here. So I was able to lock down a complete set uh, through a good friend of mine named Alex. He found a case at a store and was able to secure me uh, one complete set. And I was able to obtain the rest of these uh, through trades, through local people on our local Hot Wheels page. So super, super excited to lock these down, um, not have to continue to run out, try to catch the second wave, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, if you guys are out there hunting for these boulevards, I wish you the best. Uh, every store that had stocked these before, we were able to lock down a complete set. Of course, all of the Sylvias and all of the R30s were gone. Um, that's just the game today. So unfortunately, uh, you got to have a good team out here, have people working with you, working for you, and also working for them. So um, without any further ado, let's get into these. So this is going to be numbers 91 through 95. So Sylvia Liberty Walk is 91. The Advan MBK Van 92 the Porsche uh, 718 Cayman GT4, number, number 93. The Skyline R30, number 94. And then we have the uh, Yanko Stinger, which is number 95. So super, super happy to lock down a complete set. I did grab some extras to open. And then we have a couple of the previous releases of these same cars here that we'll kind of just compare. Um, all three of these have wheel swapped, so I'll just kind of show those guys off. But um, yeah, let's get started. Uh, so first off, we'll open up our Cayman GT4. Super, super nice casting. I was really happy that they did this one. Uh, it's just kind of, you know, not the normal uh, Porsche casting. And uh, I just think it's cool that they did the Cayman. Um, I really, really like the white one, so this one was one to pick up. Uh, this one will get swapped later on with some Secura style wheels or some Chi size, something like that, some some sort of high end wheel, uh, and that will go in that case. But um, since I already have the white one wheel swapped and lowered on Real Riders, this one will get some premium wheels. So let's go ahead and cut this guy open and take a closer look. Nice clean cut on our card there. Put this one off to the side. Let's take a look at the GT4. Uh, really, really great job on this casting. Mattel did a really, really nice job. Um, very proportionate. Good details on it. Uh, the one thing I don't like about it is the front wheels are like a shorter wheelbase than the rear, which is okay, but the fronts tend to be a little bit sunken in, as you can see, where you can see this fender there, whereas the rears are going to be completely flush, if not a little tiny bit of poke. Uh, but that gets fixed when you do a wheel swap and I did fix that on the white one back here. So we'll take a look at that in a second, but let's take a look at the blue release here. So on the rear, you do have some nice tampoed up tail lights. They look pretty straight. Um, not off or anything like that. Uh, HWC Ray on the license plate there, GT4 badge there, third brake light. You do have some space underneath that spoiler, so that's cool. You got some reflectors back here. Your exhausts, not too detailed. Uh, take a look at the side. You got a black vent on the side here. Black multi-spoke wheels. Love that wheel. Really, really nice wheel on this car. Uh, take a look at our fronts. You do have some LED uh, lights here on the front, which would probably be like a daytime running light. Uh, HWC Ray license plate again. Porsche emblem. Headlights are going to be lens. They are part of the interior glass, so that's super cool. Um, so, yeah, it's got mirrors on this one, too. I'll take a look at the base. Um, flip that around. So, some pretty good detail as far as the exhaust. Um, 
you got your rear differential here so pretty pretty nice not overall not too bad so let's take a look at our other gt4 and this is a fast and the furious car uh so this is um i can't remember what her name is but she's in a few different movies but this was her car uh the one that had braga um he, she worked on his team so super nice this one has been lowered basically slammed um does roll fenders have been shaved out bottom has been shaved and this one has been tapped and drilled for some screws uh, you can see I used a different tire on there to give it some clearance on the inside. Nice rounded tire. Uh, but same details on this guy. And um, yeah, overall, I love this casting. Uh, I was also surprised to find out that the wing is actually a different part when you do drill the car and take it apart. So if you had something that could fit in those posts, you could swap that wing. We'll go ahead and set that guy back. Next up, we will take a look at our Skyline R30. Um, this is the second time I want to say that this was done in premium. I think the only other premium of the R30 is going to be this guy from Japan Historics 3 back here. We'll take a look at that in a second. Uh, but they did a really nice job on this one. So let's get this guy open, take a closer look. Nice clean cut on our card there again. Save that later for some card art. Set it off to the side and take a look at our R30 really really nice love that black uh, black gloss really pops you can see the light reflecting off of it there you got your gold Watanabe style wheels super super sick um, these are the same exact wheels that actually came on the Japan Historics 3 R30 um, I believe it's a little bit of a different color but same style wheel uh, I think the R30 was or the Japan Historics 3 was more of a gold this is more of a bronze but super super nice um selection there so let's take a look at our details do have uh, the headlights are going to be lens they are part of the interior glass but they did throw some silver paint on there so that's pretty sick uh you do have four valve turbo on the bumper there kdr30 which is going to be your chassis code for this body style skyline uh, some turn signals down here in the front front lip take a look at this side you got your skyline badge there you have your four valve rs um, turbo badge on the side you do get a nice little pinstripe down the side here too painted door handle uh, door lock so that's super sick uh, this has a work sticker so that's pretty cool um, don't think the japan historics 3 has that take a look at the rear your kdr30 um, license plate again rear tail lights blinker um, exhaust detail isn't too crazy on this one it's kind of just built into the bumper uh, the one thing I do like about this casting is it does have these mud flaps built in so that's super sick um, but yeah all in all love this casting I'm super excited to add another premium take a look at the base um, yep nothing too crazy so all in all super happy they did do some outline like some silver outline around the windows there so that's pretty sick and same thing on the rear window as well so really really nice interior nothing crazy uh, so we'll set this guy back here let's take a look at our japan historics 3 r30 uh, so this one i did wheel swap i didn't drop it but it does have a wheel swap on it um, full roller just like all my lowered cars and wheel swap cars uh, but yeah, most of you are probably familiar with this car. Super nice. You got that four valve DOHC turbo badging or verbiage there again. This one also has painted door handles as well as a uh, painted door lock. Um, same thing with the rear. You have your rear tail lights, uh, blinker underneath. This one does have a black spoiler on it. That one has a spoiler as well, but it's going to be body colored. Exhaust stands out a little bit more on the red. Um, Skyline badge again. You got your mud flaps. So yeah, super sick. This base is going to be like a um, matte finish instead of the gloss finish on the other. But you do get a good rear differential detail down there. Um, some suspension components and whatnot. So super sick. Uh, really happy to add the black one with the red. Those will go together nicely in the case and the last one up is going to be our nissan Sil super silhouette sylvia s15 
Um, so this is a Liberty Walk car. This is a real car in real life. Uh, the one thing that um, I don't like about the fact that Hot Wheels did with this casting was they gave it the black six spokes, when in reality this car comes on black five spokes in real life. But uh, I'll show you the main line that I swapped and we'll be able to fix that. So let's get this guy out. Nice clean cut on our card again. Set that off to the side. And take a look at this one. So to be honest, it's really the exact same casting as the main line. Um, the main line has the lens headlights and tail lights that are part of the interior glass. Uh, the premium does as well. The major difference between these two is with this one, you're going to get a black base versus the gray base that came on the main line. So obviously plastic base, metal base. Um, but yeah, all the details are pretty much the same. So, yeah, no, the premium's definitely head and shoulders above the main line. Um, size wise, everything is good. As you can see, I did swap the main line with the black five spokes, and I did use the Yokohama Advan tires on there. So, that's super sick. But you can tell when I lowered it, um, I shaved it, and I got a little bit close to this fender over here and a little bit close back there. So, the fenders aren't shaved evenly. Um, but you can see that the Tampo. Um, is definitely different. You get your liquid molly sticker there. You get more of the tampo up here, whereas on the main line you just have the Hot Wheels logo. Uh, this is Hot Wheels written in Jap Japanese, if I'm not mistaken. You get an extra Liberty Walk decal down here that you don't have on the main line. Front bumper Liberty Walk decal, decal down there. Uh, you get a decal on your C pillar back here, which you don't have on the main line. The yellow is also a little bit different. This is a brighter yellow. This is more of like an orangish yellow. Um, so let's take a look at our rear. Uh, yeah, so the rear is decoed up way more. Um, you get a full, your stripe goes all the way around on the premium with your liquid molly decals and then your Liberty Walk decals, whereas the main line is just going to be super plain. Nothing there whatsoever. Um, so side, this side should be the same as the other. And we'll take a look at the front. You definitely get more detail on the front of the premium than you do on the main line. And as you can tell too, on the main line here, I did take a chrome pen and I painted that front mount intercooler chrome. So that stands out. Um, this one will get drilled. I will swap this one with these wheels that are, are on my main line. <clears throat> and then this one will go into the case. So um, all in all, I was kind of interested to see how different these really were. And to be honest with you, the premium is head and shoulders above the main line. So uh, don't get me wrong. This was a great casting for a main line. Uh, but this one in premium is just that much better. So super, super sick. Really, really happy to add that one. Again, that one will be getting drilled and swapped. And these wheels will get swapped over to the premium. And then it will go in the case. And last up, uh, just have one more. This is from the Pop Culture series from this year. This is the Nissan Concept 2020 Vision Gran Turismo. Uh, this was a car um, in Gran Turismo, so super, super dope. Um, I do have a good collection of Gran Turismo cars, which you'll see when I put this guy in its new home. Uh, I picked this up from Mr. Bill. Mr. Bill found a couple of these. He grabbed an extra for me and hooked it up. So shout out to Mr. Bill for uh, holding it down on this guy. Let's get this out. Take a look. Nice clean cut off to the side. And let's take a look at our GTR concept. It's pretty sick. Um, the car itself, you know, pretty crazy. Um, it's got pretty good detail on it. So let's take a look. You do have, um, these would be considered your headlights here. You do have a really, really nice pearl paint. Not sure if the camera's picking that up or not, but that's super nice. Got a Gran Turismo banner here along the top. Um, you've got your Nissan badge here in the front with your GTR. Um, this is kind of like the R35 grill, so you can tell that that's taken from there. Take a look at the side. You do have staggered wheels. You've got a 10 millimeter front with a 12 millimeter rear. Um, it's the first time I think I've seen this wheel in a 12 millimeter, so that's kind of cool. Uh, take a look at this. You got some black paint that's supposed to indicate some venting. Uh, look at our rear, your classic Nissan GTR taillights. Um, don't see, I guess this would be the center exit exhaust here. 
Got a nice wing on the back. Um, I don't think there's a little circle in the middle there. I don't think it says anything. It's probably where the emblem would go, uh, but there's nothing on there currently. So uh, not too, too much to this casting. Um, is super nice. You got a nice flat base there, Vision GT verbiage and your date codes and all that stuff on the bottom. So um, yeah, all in all, super happy to add this one. This will go in the Gran Turismo case with the rest of the Gran Turismo cars. So super excited about that. So all in all, um, that's the haul for the boulevards. I'm just, again, super happy and thankful to my buddy Alex for um, hustling to that store and locking down a case for us. He got one complete set. I got the other complete set. And then the openers, I was able, like I said, to acquire through trade from local people who had obviously raided the pegs and took everything that was there. Uh, but, you know, sometimes you have some stuff in the collection that you're willing to get rid of and that other people are interested in. And so, therefore, uh, trade was easily made on that on that front hope you guys enjoy those if you're out there looking for them good luck keep hitting it hard um, this is just the first wave that's stocked in our city so i'm sure there will be a second wave coming um, i don't plan to get any more i'm not going to waste any more time going out hunting um, if i were to run across some more i would pick some up for friends of mine who haven't found any yet hold them down um, i know mr bill is still looking for a complete set so yeah but if you're out there on the grind, hitting it, good luck. Um, stay positive and just stay consistent and you'll come across them. Um, I think these are going to be the heaviest stock yet of boulevards. I think these will probably restock at least two more times, but we'll just have to see. We'll keep our eyes open. So thank you guys for tuning in. Much appreciated. Thank you to all the people who have subscribed to the channel so far. Uh, shout out to you if you aren't a subscriber and you're watching. Um, click that like button. Click that subscribe button. We're going to keep pumping out videos here. We've got some more mail calls and some other things coming up. So thanks again for tuning in, guys. We appreciate it. And uh, we will catch you on the next one. So one love.